And good morning to you. We do know that negotiations are already underway between CPS and the CTU. The CTU holding a virtual press conference a short time ago. It is the absolute wrong message that we do not want to go back to school. That is incredulous. It's wrong. It's misinformation. It's a flat out lie. All of the teachers on today's CTU virtual press conference were African Americans. They say part of the union's fight is also the fight for equity throughout Chicago and CPS. They say there is a lack of trust and they do not think CPS is ready for this. About 60,000 students and thousands of teachers were supposed to be back in the classroom this week. Instead, CPS and the CTU continue negotiating over a number of issues. They have closed the gap on some issues, but the CTU still wants a comprehensive a vaccination plan for teachers, more waivers for teachers who have vulnerable family members at home, among other things. Millions of dollars have been spent to update CPS schools to get them ready for students and staff to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. The city says despite there being some cases of COVID-19 since pre-K and special ed students returned to the classroom, the science is on their side. We have not seen outbreaks. We have not seen schools uh, broadly be a concern across the city, across um, the country, around the world. And that is why you've heard the CDC, Dr. Fauci, increasingly really point that we want schools to be open. Now, the mayor has said that she is tired of what she calls CTU stall tactics in these negotiations. She wants students back in school as soon as possible, which could be as early as Monday. However, that could be a stretch. A source telling the Tribune from the CTU that a strike is still a real possibility. We are live. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.